peace and blessing, family. This is Elder Rasan Shakur out of the great city of New Orleans, Louisiana, coming to you with another great and informative video. Peace, blessings, and love to all the melanated family and mankind. Well, family, this is going to be my last thoughts on Nipsey Hussle situation, the vandalism of his memorial by this little white teenager. I didn't see the whole video, but I got the rest of it this morning, so here's my thoughts. Black people, to me, is scared of white folks. This little white girl was up there calling, saying the word nigger and fucking up everything. And these black people was sitting up there claiming they was going to do a video about Nipsey, but they ain't defending what she was doing. She was up there talking shit, saying the word nigger. That could never happen. Somebody should have just went up there and just slapped that little <coughs> Then called the police. They ain't did shit. But stood up there and fucking grin. Seemed like to me, black people, I hate to say it, it seemed like we scared of white folks. From what I'm seeing, they just doing any damn thing they want. She up there running her fucking mouth, using the N word. And if I was there, I about not say. <laughs> I about not say. That's right. Seems to me we have fear. Fear for Becky and Mr. Charlie. That's right. But when a black person do another black person something, it might have been a homicide out there. That's right. If it would have been a homicide, everybody probably would have jumped on him and beat the shit out of him. But they're going to sit up there and let this little Becky use the N-word and talk shit and vandalize one of our heroes, somebody that was doing something positive in their neighborhood. And we just let people do any damn thing. That was Y'all... Whoever let, let white folks do what they want, that's on them. They ain't going to do what they want to me. I can guarantee you that. And they're going to keep on doing it. Because this whole society is fucked up. The white folks fucked up, niggas fucked up, the Arab, the Chinaman, everybody. Ain't nobody right. But you're supposed to protect your own. You're supposed to stand up for your own. Let that bitch would have went over there in China and did some shit like that. Let her went over there in one of them foreign countries and do some shit like that. You see where our fucking ass would have been at. Motherfucker scared to go to jail. You go to jail for any fucking thing. But you don't defend your own. But you'll kill your own. You'll lie on your own. You'll steal from your own. But anybody else can do any fucking thing they want to you. And you're showing all 32 teeth. Because you're scared. That's the only thing I can think of. Black people scared of white folks. Most of us. Not me. <laughs> and they got a lot of other brothers and sisters that not. But seem like the majority just go along with any fucking thing. That's right. Let a black motherfucker with a, go to Graceland and, and vandalize Albert Presley's shit or one of one of them entertainers, one of they one of they kind. Go there and fuck up with something, nigga, and see what's gonna happen to your black ass. But you won't even defend your own kind. You'll kill your own kind, though. Quick, fast, in a hurry. That's right, family. I just can't understand the mindset of our people. That we can let everybody do everything 
anything they want to us, but when we do something to each other, it's a homicide. Even little children out there killing each other. That's right. Hate. Hate. Envy and jealousy is in the hearts of black people. And but we love everybody else. We love everybody else but your own kind. It's sad. But family, I'm gonna cut this video short. Peace and blessing. Might be some backlash. I don't give a motherfucker. I'm just telling the goddamn truth. About to get out of that mindset. <laughs> Although listening to this video, please subscribe, put up the likes and shares, and stay tuned for the next video or live stream. And I'm out.